Kyoto is a beautiful city that has a secret power that makes people want to come back again. This was my third time visiting Kyoto, but I am already missing this wonderful place and would like to share my experience to everybody in the world about this city. Hello everyone, I'm in the most popular spot Kyoto now. Do you know why Kyoto is so famous in Japan? The main reason is that Kyoto has many old Japanese buildings and world heritage sites preserved throughout the centuries. But why only remains in Kyoto? That is because Kyoto has prospered as the center of Japanese politics and culture for about 1,000 years. And these cultural heritage sites were not attacked during World War II, so everything has been preserved to this day. Most cities in Japan has changed to a modern landscape, but Kyoto's government has maintained the traditional Japanese culture and old buildings. So only Kyoto still remains an old Japanese streetscape, so you can feel actual old Japan. As a local Japanese, I want many people to visit Kyoto, so I will share the top 20 things to do in Kyoto, and hope you can come visit too. There are so many places worth visiting in Kyoto, so it was hard to choose where should I begin. But out of all places, Kinkakuji was the most beautiful temple I have ever seen. This is the most amazing scene that I've ever seen. It's so beautiful. Kinkakuji is a golden temple. It has been coated with a huge amount of gold leaf, about 20 kg. Even today, it is said to be worth several hundred million yen. I tried to show how majestic the temple is by this video. However, it is not enough to justify how beautiful it was in real life. This is not a place to miss out if you visit Kyoto. And this is entry ticket. Looks really cool. I got Goshuin, which is the sign of temple or shrine. And each shrine and temple has own sign. This is only the sign of Kinkakuji. Someone's hobby is to collect each shrine and temple's Goshuin. It's really fun. If you go to the west side of Kyoto, there is a bamboo forest called Arashiyama. It is a little far from the center of Kyoto, so I recommend you to check your schedule before you visit. It was rainy day, and I was afraid that it would ruin our trip. However, it surprised me how much more beautiful this place was in the rain. It was really quiet with very few tourists to make the visit enjoyable. I could only hear the sound of rain and felt at peace in the serene bamboo forest. There are so many full of bamboo along this street. It's so beautiful. Tens of thousands of bamboo grow thickly on the main alley and the average height of the bamboo is 12 to 15 meters. The largest one reaches 20 meters in height, which is the largest bamboo in Japan. The bamboo was so tall and dense that it made this place dark and mysterious. I could feel the energy of nature. Walking about 7 minutes from Arashiyama, you will see the Togetsu Bridge. Right next to the bridge, Matsugae is a great spot where you can eat Kyoto's soul food, hot tofu, while watching Togetsu Bridge. Each dish tastes really good, and the main dish, hot tofu, was amazing. The green one is made of matcha, and white one is made of soba. There are many sauces and ingredients to add, but for me, salt and green onion was the best. It's really good. I can see a little matcha flavor. Good quality of tofu, I think. <laughs> Near the Matsugae, there is a popular tofu ice cream place called Kyozuan. 3, 2, 1. Oh. 
Whoa, look at this, it doesn't drop. Uh, she said this tofu ice cream is really rich and sticky, so that's why that ice cream doesn't drop. So the white wine is silky tofu and the black wine is black sesame tofu. So both are tofu flavor. It's so rich and white. Mm, it's tofu. <laughs> After Arashiyama, let's check out the busy Kyoto downtown area. Nishiki Market is popular food street market that is 390 meter long and has over 130 street food vendors. Not only is there a lot of fresh seafood to reach, there are also many unique and delicious Kyoto street foods that you can only be found in Nishiki Market. Look at this, it's really like tiny octopus, that's so cute. I see this octopus from SNS and it's really popular food in this Nishiki market. Mmm, it has great inside. It's really chewing, so good. These are fish paste cakes that are made of deep fried minced fish and vegetables. It is then steamed to heat up the fish paste cakes. Wow, it's really heavy. This is outside is like fish paste cake and the inside has squid. Mm. It's really hot. Mm. It's really good texture. Even if you have never been to Kyoto, you probably have heard the name of Kiyomi's Dera at least once. Kiyomi's Dera is a temple that has a history of about 1,200 years. It is a historic temple that has been certified as one of the most important world heritage sites. The deck of Kiyomizu is 13 meter high looking over the hill. So we can enjoy the amazing Kyoto view from the deck of the Kiyomizdera temple. This is a popular deck at Kiyomizdera. So we can see the view from here. This time in May was not popular travel season in Kyoto. During the cherry blossom season or autumn leaves season, you will see a more beautiful view. Kiyomizdera is absolutely worth to visit. Let's rewind the time a little bit. The way up Kiyomizdera is a famous sightseeing spot called Ninenzaka and Sanenzaka. You can see a five-storied pagoda from here and is a really popular alley spot in an old atmosphere of Kyoto during your hike up to Kiyomizdera. There are many souvenir shops and Japanese street food vendors here. Near the start area of Sanenzaka, there is a small temple, Yasaka Koshindo, which is a famous spot for Instagram among Japanese people. The wall is filled up colorful town balls with each person's wish written on each ball. If you are wearing kimono, it will be a great photo spot. Kyoto is this is like a little spice for rice, so which is furikake. It has sesame and red chili pepper. It looks a little spiciness for furikake. Mmm, -hmm. it's really good. Oh, it's a little spicy. You can try many kinds of furikake here. This one is a favorite and popular souvenir among Japanese. It is chili garlic oil. It goes very well with white rice. It can also be a good topping to add a little spice and flavor to your favorite dishes. Mm. Oh, I really love this taste. <laughs> it's a little spicy, but it's so good. I also had some street food at Sanenzaka on my way up to Kiyomizdera. The first place was a matcha house. I had matcha tiramisu pudding in a square wooden cup, which is usually used for drinking sake. 
However, it was filled with matcha powder on the tiramisu. Mmm! Wow! I can drink! <laughs> it's so creamy! Kuri, this is matcha beer. Do you want to try one? Oh, it's pretty good beer. There's not too much of a matcha flavor to it. Just very few hints of it. So it's pretty good. It's not overpowering with matcha, if that's a word. Cheers. Another place in the area is Umezo no Kiyomizu, which sells black and starch dumpling with matcha powder and roasted soybean flour. The other dessert I had was a mochi dessert pasted with sweet soy sauce called mitarashi dango. Mm. I think this is number one, mitarashi dango that I've ever had before. It's really good. I've seen cold cucumber before, but I've never seen like pickled cucumber. It's really, really soft, but it has so many dashi in it, so it looks really good. Mm. Wow, it's so fresh. And it has so good, it's little like salty and sour, but it's really good. Okay, enough about food. Let's go back to some of the beautiful power spots in Kyoto. Fushimi Inari is the most famous shrine in Kyoto and is a favorite for visitors. It is worshipped as the god of prosperous business and bountiful harvest. Fushimi Inari shrine has many folk symbols which are considered to be messenger of the gods. The foxes are in pairs, one holding a bowl meaning spiritual virtue and the other holding a key, meaning desire. All right, I'm in Fushimi Inari Shrine, which is a very popular spot in Kyoto. Wow, it's so huge! It is said that there are as many as 10,000 of these tori gates, which were built around 1,300 years ago in the Edo period in order to make wishes come true. This is Emma, which is where you write down your wish and each Emma you can write fox face that's so interesting Fushimi Inari Shrine is located in a mountain with an altitude of 233 meters and it takes about one hour to reach the top of the hill when walking through the Tori Gate. There are many places to see along the way, so if you have time, I recommend climbing all the way to the top. Alright, I'm walking around 20 minutes already, but there are still so many Tori Gates. And it is said there are more than 1,000 Tori Gates around here. I can't even count how many tori gates around here. Like so many different sizes of tori gates. Wow, it looks really old tori gates. The Kamogawa River, which flows right next to the downtown area, it is a tourist attraction in Kyoto with excellent scenery both during the day and at night. As you can see, there are many restaurants with terrace. You can see really good beer from the restaurant. I really recommend this. I went to this amazing restaurant called Inayoshi for lunch on Pontocho Street, which has a terrace to watch over the Kamogawa River. The terrace usually will open from May to September when it is not too cold. Alright, so restaurants around this area during at night are more expensive than lunchtime. So if you are on the budget, I recommend lunchtime. 
but the night time is really beautiful too. Wow, it looks so gorgeous. I ordered Wagyu, which means Japanese beef. This time was Kyoto beef, which was my first time to try. We can choose the sauce from fresh wasabi flavor or sweet torifu sauce. I chose torifu sauce. Mmm! Wow, it's so juicy and it's so soft. Oh, it's amazing. Every dish on the plate was so good. I was surprised that they even served real matcha. It was a kelp like experience. Itadakimasu. Wow! It's a bitter, but it's really good. Like, I can like, smell and taste green tea at the same time. <laughs> now that I talked about lunch, let's move to a dinner place near the area. Katsugyu is a popular chain restaurant in Kyoto. They serve also Wagyu meat with a fried crust around the steak. What makes this restaurant unique is that they have many sauce and topping to eat with the fried steak. This includes dipping wasabi and soy sauce, just like how you eat sushi or sashimi. The steak itself is rare, and they serve you a pan with fire underneath in case you want to cook the steak more. We got beef tongue. The beef tongue is pretty thick, if you can notice. And it's a little raw on the inside. I never had a little bit raw of a beef tongue before. And it's fried too on the outside. All right, let's try it. Wow. Reminds me of eating sashimi. It also tastes like beef. A chewy beef tongue. Very good. Yasaka Shrine is located near the downtown area of Kyoto, so it is easy to access and go to. The reason of Yasaka Shrine is so famous is because of the Gion Festival, which is one of Japan's three greatest festivals will be held at Yasaka Shrine, so many people visit here during summer. The last thing that I recommend to do in Kyoto is to eat herring soba, which is a famous dish in Kyoto. I wonder if this food tasted good at first because it was just a piece of fish in soba, but it was much better than I expected. Mm. Mm. The fish is really tastes really good. It's a little salty flavor. But it's so good. Alright, this is the end of the video about Kyoto trip. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe this channel. Bye!